Hi everybody, uh, in this tutorial we are going to create this beautiful wallpaper using Photoshop. Today is Photoshop's 21st birthday, so happy birthday Photoshop. Uh, we are going to start by creating a new document, usually the size of your screen. I have taken uh, 1280 by 1000 pixels. Um, we would make our background ready first. For this we would choose um, beautiful random colors and just take a soft brush of around um, 200 pixels and draw draw small dots all around your canvas you don't have to have them in any specific order you can just be as random as you want and also the colors that you're going to choose for your uh, for your dots will represent the colors uh, on the wallpaper so you know you might want to have them bright and uh, nice I have already created few dots of around six to seven colors and uh, put them on various layers. Uh, it's a it's a good practice to have um, you know different elements on different layers. So what we're going to do next is create a new layer, and um, we would select our uh, paint bucket tool, or you can just press G from your keyboard. Um, make sure your uh, you know foreground color is set to black and then fill the whole uh, canvas with black before that make sure your new layer is on top of all the other layers that you have just created it'll it'll be beneficial if you just name it black or top layer or anything i'm just going to name it black after that fill your whole canvas with the color black okay the fun begins here um, after that select your eraser tool and pick up um, any brush that you would want the, the pick up any brush that you would want um, the design on your wallpaper to be like for example if you want flowers just pick up a floral brush and um, make sure it is set appropriate to the size you don't you don't want it too small and you don't want it way too large so once your brush is selected um, go ahead and just erase your black layer Voila, this, this is, I mean, this effect is so cool and it's awesomely simple. You would also want to try a combination of uh, two to three brushes. Uh, for this tutorial, I have used three different brushes, all from the same awesome brush set. You know, if you don't like the placement, you can always press uh, Ctrl Z from your keyboard and do it all over again. Ctrl Z only gives you a uh, one step back. If you want to move to a three step back, you know, you press Alt Ctrl Z and it will take you how many ever steps you want. So once your, um, once your flowers and your decorations or once your elements on your wallpaper are ready, you might want to add a nice coat. Uh, can, you can do this by creating a new layer. Um, you know, select the text tool and you know, type anything you want. But it would also be awesomely good if you, um, you know, type in your code on a branch or on a curved line or, um, you know, to make it more customized to the wallpaper. So what you would do is um, select your pen tool and um, just draw a path around the branch that you want your text to be on. So here I'm selecting the outermost branch. Oops. There is some issue. Okay. Um, so what you want to do is select your pen tool, uh, you know, draw a nice path and take your text tool and then start typing on that path. Okay, done. So after this, you would want to, um, you know, delete your path and um, hide the previous text layer that you had created. and um, add some add some styles to your layer i'm not going to make it too um, stylish or something i'm just going to give it a neat outer glow of color blue um, with just the default settings and uh, probably a nice stroke of uh, size one on the on the outside um, again of the same blue yeah there we go 
all right so this is what your wallpaper looks like thanks for watching i hope you had fun